from Ciudad Juarez, Mexico, here is Nestor Garcia. From Dallas, Texas, here is the undefeated Virgil Ortiz Jr. And your referee in charge of the action is Eddie Hernandez. Virgil Ortiz in the black trunks, a fighter go, and then boy really high on. His last bout was at Cowboy Stadium in the Canelo undercard. Ooh. Was homeschooled, actually went to Grand Prairie High School. Missed a lot of school because of going to the, some of the big time national tournaments. Still an honor roll student, ran cross country, four, sub five minute mile. Still goes after it. Some of the best around in the Coachella Valley. Some of the other names that are in that group, I guess you call them a boxing fraternity, would be Louis Correa. Yep. Certainly a bright young prospect with a big left hook. Cesar Diaz, skilled all around fighter. One thing you notice about Ortiz immediately outside the size and the frame, does a nice job of keeping his hands up in a nice defensive posture. Does a nice job of blocking and deflecting. Does a lot of catch and countering, as you notice. Not a lot of head movement. He's not going to slip and counter, but he's going to catch, deflect, and then shoot back his own punches. A lot of people watching back home in the Dallas area. Grandmother Francis Mela supports him a lot, watching also. Talking with Joel, he's one of the kids that just you just know he's going to do the work. You don't no, have to worry about him. But uh, we were here for his pro debut July 30th in this very same venue. Now, that was a very short, explosive fight. He just kind of stood out, though. Yeah. Didn't look like an amp, uh, a kid making his pro debut. Another thing I like about Ortiz, look at the angle of his head and his chin, how down it is. Now, this is a kid that was very well taught from the beginning, fundamentally. Upstairs, good combo. Stalking his opponent is Ortiz. You see, you see the eyes, and oh, there he goes down. And that was a jab. A that stiff caught, one, huh? Right, it caught Garcia coming straight in. And I don't know if he's getting up from that one. Eyes are closed, and it is over. A first round KO for Virgil Ortiz. He's now 3 0 with three KOs. Beto, just as it seemed though, we're going to see a milestone, Virgil Ortiz in round number two, Garcia got caught coming in, and it looked like a jab that was turned into a short hook. Wow, that's exactly what it was, kind of a half jab, half hook, and does a nice job of stepping back a half step, and just shooting back from the front side. Punchers are born, they are not made, Beto, I like to say, and look at that damage already, and that was from what, two and a half minutes of work. From so Joe Martinez. Three minutes, round number one. Referee Eddie Hernandez reaches the count of ten for your winner by KO victory, his third consecutive victory and third straight knockout win. He is still undefeated. Virgil Ortiz Jr. Grand Prairie's own. Virgil Ortiz coming home for a week only. He's going to be 